Hi everybody, I'm really glad to see you here and uh, I want to show you something that we have. I'm not sure, will you have any experience with the uh, Luminar before? Uh, as a forward, I'd, I'd like to say that's like we, 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 we got the direction right now and uh, our goal is to change the way how people actually edit photos and uh, change it in a better way because uh, as Alex said, like a lot of things was very stable and the same solutions move from one software to another software but the core of this uh, solutions was invented like 20 or 30 years ago and most of the software is just a wrap up with different interfaces for the same things like shadows highlights curves for decades and it was a start with a question actually if you take a look on the internet and see how many tutorial videos about how to take photos and, and how many tutorial videos about how you actually edit photos. Edit, edit tutorials takes hours and hours and they very very process oriented. Our goal is to make with the new technologies some, something which can be actually goal oriented, not the process oriented. And approach that we actually uh, right now is implementing here and it's just the very beginning I can call it like content aware image editing where you don't think about tools you think about outcome that you want to get and you have a tools that can bring you this result but don't dig in the deep in details and uh, it's not about actually trade-offs between like oh yeah that's very simple but you know the quality is not good no our goal is to bring the best high quality image technologies <laughs> for final results but in innovative and, 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 and easy way. And uh, because we have a vision that every software right now should be not just like functionable, it should be fun to use. And our goal bring high quality software which can be fun to use. And we just get started. So uh, let me show you the Luminar. Uh, uh, and uh, I hope you can then decide what you think about this. So, uh, it's pretty, uh, we changed significantly edit module and uh, I'd like to show you some of our technologies that we will uh, bring uh, to the, like, uh, our customers uh, with Luminar 4. We got a four uh, new technologies and uh, all of them based uh, on AI. Uh, AI structure, AI skin enhancer, portrait enhancer, and uh, actually sky replacement. More than this, we have much more smaller technologies and improvements, but I'd like to show all these technologies for to you right now. So let me start, and I'll start with uh, some uh, portrait tools. And actually, that's pretty like obvious that process of retouching right now is taking so much time for every person who involved in a portrait for photography skin retouching and and citra and citra stuff like enhancing skin improving face sculpture <coughs> so we try to make it a, as easy as possible and actually what we can do right now in even with one oops that's happened sometimes you know but it, 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 it's a proof it's real, that's, that's the thing. <laughs> it's not video actually, it's, 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 it's not magic. But it's, 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 it's a reality, so that's, nobody's perfect. Oh, maybe. So, actually, right now it's, it's, it's possible. Hmm. Maybe, maybe, I, maybe Luminar wants to have, uh, to see another photo or maybe get confused by the external displays have no idea but it's still beta that's that happens okay let me change photo let me change photo maybe use image like like this for example and uh, basically our idea is to bring tools that will make uh, possible do this thing in just one click it's fully automatical and it's powered by AI it's super simple in just one click get from this to this fully automatically because uh, all technologies right now can uh, achieve high quality retouching with the just very simple 
steps. So first of all, let me, let me show another example, and then you'll see how actually it works. That's super simple. And we have a, like a portrait. That, 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 that is kind of extreme case, but, but for me it's better to show you on an extreme cases. Like we have a new technology called AI Skin Enhancer, and it's super smart. The idea of AI Skin Enhancer is automatically enhance skin and bring the high quality uh, skin retouch very close or even like better than a uh, professional retoucher without any human involvement. AI automatically see and enhance skin as it actually uh, will, will do professional retoucher. We work with the professional retouchers to, to be sure that the quality is, is really there. So in just one slider, I can enhance skin and in just one click, it automatically remove all the imperfections from skin. And that's pretty cool because you don't spend any time on this. Let me show you another example. It's like professional portrait, studio portrait. Then I'll show you uh, results in, in details. For example, you get a portrait of a young woman and uh, in just actually one slider, it enhanced skin. But take a look at this. If you take a, uh, take a look at the image, in, in, when you enhance skin, all the on, all, on the skin get actually touched by AI and uh, all this uh, hair here is untouched. So if I, I'll show you before and after and, I, and, and, and it's, it's very high quality and good thing here is not actually face retouch. Actually, it, enha it enhanced skin everywhere, but keep all the details real. Take a look at this. It, you, you don't need to actually select face because sometimes other software actually work only on face or use the human skin tones, but it will affect whole image. The good thing here, it just localized the human skin and it's trained to enhance it automatically. A mount slider is mostly like, I can call it like a taste slider. When you move a slider and you decide how much uh, of uh, skin uh, retouch you wanna get. So you, maybe you wanna get a smoother skin, maybe you wanna have just like more natural skin, but it's it just actually with one slider and then, and yeah and, and actually done but take a look we we keep all the pores even on extreme values we keep all pores and it's done automatically it get get great thing here it can be synced among among multiple images among multiple images so it's a high quality professional portrait but we have much more we have a portrait enhancer and portrait enhancer is a great Yep. So if I had ten images, ten totally different images. It 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 works. One slider. You can synchronize adjustments. That's what I'm asking. Yeah, and 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 people like some people. That's a good question actually. Some people saying that like AI is like a little bit marketing buzzword, but for us it's 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 very important uh, term because all AI powered uh, tools that we have actually works differently on each image. This tool will decide how it will change this image. You, it's not like an exposure. When you get it high, it works all the time very, very the same way. If it's, it's a dark, it make it brighter. If it's bright, it's just blown out, will blown out the image. So AI tools like very uh, unpredictable, but it's smart, that's the good thing. So AI tools automatically find all the sp people's skin and hands it automatically. Yeah, sure, no problem. What about different skin tones and a mix of different skin, you know, multiple people? Yeah, that, that, that it, it works for the multiple people it, and the multiple people. Do. So we have a, like a different, different skin tones, portraits, and it's trained, like we did spend a lot of time working on this, for example. That's super easy. When I use this to just in one slider, and the good thing, it keeps all pores here and all hair. The most tricky thing was to keep this eyebrows, and the hair uh, not blurred. And it, 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 this technology is not blurring actually, it's enhancing skin, it's a different technology. It's not like blurry face, it's actually enhanced. So it, it took out all this imperfection and improved uh, ports very, very easily. But let me switch to this image. And uh, uh, another technology that we have 
is a portrait enhancer. With the portrait enhancer, actually, you don't have to spend uh, a lot of time just uh, on uh, improving and, and retouching uh, portraits. With just one slider, for, we have a face light here. So if, if it's underexposed, it can like correct exposure for face. I'll show you an example later on. <coughs> then, then we have a like A whitening. We have a ace enhancer here to make eyes crystal clear. We have a dark circle removal, and it works perfectly in the different orientations. Then we have a A slim. So if you wanna have a little bit slimmer face, it's super easy. It's super easy. If you wanna have, if, if you wanna improve eyebrows, for example, it's not always good as here, but Take a look at this. In just one slider, it enhances only a brows. Doesn't touch skin, doesn't introduce any kind of halos. You can actually improve saturation of uh, lips and uh, like maybe darken it. But take a look at this. I made it actually in no time, and I went from this to this. And uh, because we work with the professional photographers, the result that you get from here is not like a cheesy iPhone apps when every face looks just fake. It's the result is, is, is very professional and ranges and the technology is, is, is just on different level. And as I said, take a look at this. I, I enhance this image and then I very easily can copy adjustment and apply this adjustment to, com to completely different person and take a look at this. Uh, because it's a I analyze image and do this thing. It's not actually original. Original was like this. And I spend no time and it like enhance the portrait in very smart way. So you actually you don't have to do it image by image. You can like just synchronize and it will do these things automatically. Find all these various features, enhance skin, and do the, do all do all the, the stuff. Actually. Yes, it's all new, yeah, yeah, because I will be get bored saying, talking about the same things one year <laughs> on, actually. This, this all new features and not existing before. For example, if we take a look at this portrait, yeah, this portrait maybe needs more like a flashlight on it. So that's super easy with just one slider, lead this image and then, for example, enhance skin remove some skin defects here and it's and it's super easy to get from this to this uh, actually no time yeah, i train to keep skin natural it never get e took everything from skin it leaves something there because we don't want to make it like very blurry it keeps all the pores and if you want to have a Natural retouched portraits, that's, 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 that's what you can do very easy with these new technologies. And it's, it, it, and it's just the way how you not just save time, but like spend more time for creativity, take out this little bit boring stuff. You're probably going to go into it, but just in the same token, if you're doing multiple images and you have, a, say, a portrait of somebody has a mole or something that you don't want affected, Yes, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Because we have a layers and masking here, you can actually exclude this this technology or use edit mask and then like just just remove it. Or that that, that, that there is a lot of ways how you can be creative, and uh, that that's things related to the like skin enhancement. Uh, next thing that I like to show you is a very smart uh, AI structure, and the AI structure is all about extracting details and making it like more like uh, beautiful, uh, more, more detailed. It's not, it's not like a sharpness. It's all about this structure uh, that a lot of people likes, but a lot of people say, I hate images with structure because it looks like fake HDR, a lot of noise and like this. But we trained AI to improve details and micro contrast in areas where it should be improved and leave the areas where detail, the details should be left uh, as it is or enhanced very little. Uh, so it's actually the way how you can not just so save time, but make most of images very beautiful. And the AI actually do work as a professional retoucher. Let me show you. That's super easy. Uh, so with just one slider, I'm on the right and take a look at this. There is more details, but take a look at her face. 
if you use the clarity or something like this, it makes just like people port portrait just ugly uh, or introduce well, some kind of like halos on, on, on the sky uh, or something like this. And you can create very detailed, very beautiful image, but yeah, I will automatically know where it should be extracted and, 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 and how much it should be. So uh, let me show like maybe some kind of another image, maybe like, uh, like this one, yeah, like this one. And I'll, and I'll try to add some like structure, AI structure here, uh, but take a look at this. It automatically see how it should be enhanced without like introducing any halos or like extra noise. If this image particularly JPEG, it's maybe not the best example, but if I'll switch to some kind of like this one, it should be raw file. Yeah. Oh, not a TIFF, but much better than JPEG, actually. So I move structure on the right, but if I'll zoom in, you can see that there is no extra noise in sky or halo. If you use the Luminar 3, for example, with structure or like some clarity, it's always introduced little, little clarity, uh, like li little halos around the edges on the sky and uh, problems with the extra noise. It's kind of, yeah, it can make an image beautiful, but with uh, some kind of trade-offs. Or a goal was to build something which will have no trade-offs and make almost every image beautiful. And our goal was like 99% should be much better than, than it was before without any extra trade-offs. And we achieved this goal. So I, I'm really happy with these results. And uh, that, 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 that's very unique. So with just one slider, we can get a nice image, but looks natural and uh, with the high quality and, and with high quality. So that's that's the second technology uh, that I'd like to show you. That's actually the AI structure. It was and uh, next thing is uh, for sure sky replacement, and it's very very powerful technology. Not just to actually enhance sky, but actually create something like. Uh, much better from very ordinal photos. Actually, for example, I got just one day in Paris and, and took this image. And actually, this image is like, it will, it will not get any likes on Instagram. Nowhere. Just, just so boring. I like, oh like my it. God. <laughs> huh? I, I, would, I would like it for you. Great. I got one like. Perfect. <laughs> so I think what I can do, and I. Maybe if I do sky replacement, I'll get more likes on this photo. So I said to um, our engineers, let's spend two years in development and make this image <laughs> much more beautiful. And actually, after two years, we came up with a solution. So this image will have a chance. And I'll just pick one image and I'll get this. And uh, maybe. I'd like to have this. Oh, that's that's. I like this. I, I I like this result. And take a look. It's a very high quality. If you took a, in in this uh, structure here, it 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 works everywhere, even with the semi-transparent objects, and works actually uh, great in most cases. But more than this, we have a sun rays, so I can make even better image with this new technology. So I can add some sun rays. It's old one, but you know, that's much more likes with this result than with this result. And it's that, that, uh, this very powerful technology, not just uh, for people who want to save their images. Actually, it's not just to replace sky. Actually, it's all about how to relight the image. Because when you change sky, it's not enough to just change sky. We use AI technology, and it will automatically change uh, scene illumination and uh, it will took this illumination from the sky image and do all stuff automatically automatically align horizon automatically align sky with the actually it orientation use illumination from sky to relight scene to make it beautiful and for example this one is uh, not real real one is this and it works in different cases, not just like in very simple cases. Or for example, I have one beautiful photo of the New York that I took 
uh, what, two years ago. And I can change it very dramatically with the new technologies because actually sky replacement is not just to replace sky. It can create some, some great creations. Take a look at this. Uh, I can turn daylight photo into the night light. And it works in very different cases, complex cases like this. And it, so we spent like two years in development and uh, actually it's something that can make everyone very creative and get great results uh, almost automatically. And uh, most of these cases are really, really very complex. And uh, AI sky replacement was, test, was, was trained to work in a different situations. And actually we met our goal and you don't have to spend any time on actually retouch and actually you just have to pick the best sky that you need and it will automatically change. And yes, you can use own skies. Yep. <laughs> um, what about shadows? Uh, direction. Sh direction. Actually, that's at the moment, the shadows will stay as it was in the original image. So it's up to you to align actually sky with the shadow. So y y y you can't use something that will against. You, you can use, but it's up to you. Okay. Okay. And Yep. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So, for example, like here, you can easily like just adjust the flip sky and get this result very easily. And actually, you know, sky replacement is not just about just the sky replacement, but it's mostly about some kind of creativity. And we can add much more creativity for to any photo. For example, this photo is is like very like I'd like to say boring <laughs> because like the two people like taking just selfies and we want to do something like nice with it and sky replacement can do some nice things here what about this <laughs> the much better you know much better not that boring and new technologies you know can <laughs> and our mission in our company to make photo artists happy when they smile and, and have get more likes and just happy with their results and creativity it means that we achieved our goal technology is the way to make people happy and I'm really glad that you like some kind some of the results <laughs> we are against boring software we are we are against boring workflows we're all about high quality yes Uh, you, you can use the layers, actually. Is it, is it going to come back? Or will that be something you add into later iterations of Luminar 4? Or is it gone for good? Actually, uh, you can use layers with blending modes, adjustment layers, and use blending modes, actually. But uh, each filter doesn't have any uh, blend modes at the mo uh, uh, and it's gone forever, because okay. right now it's 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 new AI engine. And this AI engine should work with some kind of uh, workflow. And we... Uh, uh, get a lot of problems with old approaches of Luminar 3 because it was very flexible. Everyone can add any filters in any order, but there was a big problem because a lot of technologies like, for example, remove color cast was expected to work only on original image. But people actually, what they do, they add saturation, then they, they add the remove color cast and never get great results. And if, and, and these tools, in a particular order, but this order very optimized. It's for performance, for, for improving memory, and for high quality. And thanks to AI, we can <coughs> optimize whole workflow, and uh, th this gives you great advantage. But if you want uh, more complexity uh, and flexibility, you can use layers. And everyone can use layers and get nice results. And great thing here, you know, multiple complex situations like this, we, we're not afraid of different complex scenes. And uh, if we see some kind of problematic scenes, actually what we do, yes, we want to get these problems and train OAI better. Good thing here, 
you know, we, we're not that big as Adobe, so we have to be like very agile and smart. So we, we don't use any cloud processing. Everything that you actually have is just on your computer. And uh, it's all about privacy and your photos will always your photos and all processing will happen only on your side. So you, you can feel safe. We will not upload to the cloud. We don't analyze, don't sell your photos to anyone. You, you keep your photos yours. And, uh, but it requires some resources. We, we can't be with the eye things as fast as some kind of other software, but in general, you get results much faster because you can do it once, synchronize, and then fix some problems. But uh, with the new technologies, it opens much wider window with, of the new abilities. And I can promise that with the new uh, Luminar 4, we bring at least two more powerful AI features as a free to Luminar 4 customers. Not because I want to sell you more copies right now to achieve like my goal personal and make Alex happy, <laughs> but because we want to move much faster than than other market. I think market is stable. Solution that was on the in the photography uh, software actually the same for decades. We want to change this, and we want to move much faster. And we have so much great ideas. For example, this technology in development t two years right now. We're working on something that will be released like 2020, uh, 2022, and uh, so we want to bring these technologies faster if it's possible to, to change the way how you edit photos and make like more people happy that's our mission and uh for example last example like this it's very complex but again with the sky replacement everything is so easy and just you can just think about just your creativity and ai knows completely about alignment and how to make everything work perfect and use real light from from the original image texture to relight the scene and create like new image which is much more appealing and beautiful and different and even like this for example I'll show you a very complex case it was complex but have I have one more even more complex like this it's I, I took this image in uh, San Francisco it was very good but but still not best and with the AI sky replacement you can get this one this result take a look at this it automatically detects sky everywhere and, and makes this image very nice. And if I, and if I say, feel like, I think AI uh, in, uh, uh, inserted sky without uh, not correct uh, uh, defocus, I can make it much better with a manual slider and I get this result. And we're not afraid of complex cases like this. And we think that like future f will be uh, only with the smart editing, smart tools, and smart technologies that will introduce some amazing abilities. But the creative side will always be like on the photographers, on artists. We we're not trying to take out this. We want to make something which will be much easier and make your like creative boundaries much wider. You can create much more things, spend less time on education, and spend less time editing and more time taking photos. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Do you foresee the AI continuing on to actually start learning from the, the user and more of like certain techniques that I may frequently use where it starts picking up and make more of those suggestions so that it does my work? Uh, no, 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 because uh, actually, uh, I, I, I can explain this. Actually, we use pre-trained models because to train AI, you have spent so much time on a segmentation of, because it just can pick up actually things that you do in every day because you should tell, do you like this result or don't like result? What do you think is a good result? And what do you think is a bad result? Because it's not enough for AI to show good cases you should sh you should show good cases and bad cases to train it it's like uh, your employee you should tell okay do these things and don't do these things and it's start to do a lot of mistakes but like if if it will if if no new employee will work for like two months 
After this, it will be trained and, and do all that stuff perfectly. So the same with the eye, actually. Y we have to spend a lot of time training and showing different cases, different situations, and do uh, prepare segmentation mask. It's very precise and very, very boring job, uh, like, you know, to do all these uh, marks, to showcase, to, to see results, to change something, to train it. It's very complex. It, it can be trained just like with your workflow. Maybe later on, we can invent some part of the workflow where, where it can be trained. But at the moment, what we do actually, we're asking you to bring, to give us sample photos where you don't like results, and we train AI with these samples and then bring in you with new updated models, actually. So think of us like employee training center. You're just saying what you don't like with this employee, and we took it back, train it better, and give you back. Yeah. With the feature results you have so far, have you found that there is a workflow that works better or worse in terms of whether or not to add uh, the sky replacement at the very earliest stages or at the latter stages of a workflow? To be honest, uh, right now, thanks to uh, like the new uh, image processing workflow, it doesn't mean actually very much at the moment. Uh, yeah, it, it, it can affect some performance with the, with the, with the light tool, but basically not. Uh, the, the, the eye actually regenerate image. It replaces original raw image with the new generated like uh, sky. And uh, it means it, it will bake in into the like raw layer. So you can easily like, like this one. Maybe I don't like maybe overall brightness, so I can with the AI uh, enhance AI accent, enhance like brightness, just one slide. Then I say, okay, maybe, maybe that's not enough structure. And you see, it enhanced structure like everywhere, even on sky. Or if I like say, okay, I can, I want to enhance sky. Oops, uh, AI scan enhancer works even with replaced sky. And then it may say, okay, something wrong with this image. I don't like, I want to change this. Maybe I want to have some like uh, this. No, not that good. And then maybe like some kind of dramatic sky. And then this, no, 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 a little bit boring because it's it's very kind of very special. Oh, I like this very much. So it it it's fast enough. So, so and it, it's very 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 flexible. So you, you you can change it anytime you want. Did the rails pick up the tone? It's good. The yeah, 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 yeah. Sure, sure. Because uh, you 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 can see uh, if I'll change sky. It change a uh, color temperature for sure. So that's 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 called. You can t take a look here, or and uh, I I I I'm not sure about like your displays, but but on my screen, uh, it's it's very obvious. So you can try by yourself, and that means rely technology actually to replace sky. It just maybe thirty percent of the work. Create the mask. Can you throw that slide as a relight thing slider at the right? Uh, it can it, it can relate even 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 further, but uh, but uh, again sometimes it's up to it's more like this slider mostly like taste sliders. You 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 may need to change it to more dramatic or like more real. So basically, uh, it's like you know the, like like Lego constructor with the small pieces of uh, ready parts you can build something amazing. Don't think about how to build these parts. So, we, we, so all this luminar, our goal to make very fun to use, but the goal oriented, and the results should be high quality. That's our boundaries of what we are doing. How many sky replacements are there? Do you expect to add more? Uh, excuse me. How many sky replacements are there? How many actual options? Um, the, uh, you, 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 you talk about. It, 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 it default set is this this size, but you can use any 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 custom skies, and you can download any sky. What, how many are there there? We uh, that. The sliders. Uh, no, the actual sky. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, maybe 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 twenty, but it's but you know the the problem with the skies, to be honest, it's just for demo purposes because I think like after one month of the release, every skies on image will be one of this. <laughs> <laughs> and most of them taken by me, me. <laughs> so <laughs> I can be proud. So you can use own skies. So it comes with 23. 23, yeah, yeah, 20. Yeah, it's it's different kinds. 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. one through 23. Yeah, default 23, but this is like mostly for demo purposes to see how, how the result look like. And uh, it's and it will include different kind of uh, skies to like just to try it. You can use it, no problem but at all. But uh, you'll be able to use own skies or download the new sky, new sky packs from internet because after release, we, we get some great cooperation with the best photographers who travel around the world taking photos of thunderstorms, of like anything, Godzilla. Uh, some of them will be free, some of them will be paid, but again, no, no one stops you to just use your own photos, crop image, and use own sky. Because uh, at the end of the day, high professional photographers always use own skies because you can you have I have a lot of times in situation when I see nice like clouds before sunset and then in in like 20 minutes they gone and I get beautiful illumination of scene like beautiful sunset but there is no clouds and that's always just upset so people can change this actually they can take a photos of sky on the same scene and then replace or or, or uh, this uh, sky with the sky that they have before like 20 40 minutes so it's all about the creativity process and this way you can save a lot of actually nice shots uh, so not not everyone can like climb the same mountain imagine you climb the everest and there is no clouds oh, <laughs> disappointing. yeah that, that 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 that's so that use luminar you know we can sell it for climbers <laughs> Okay, guys, uh, maybe I have more questions. I will be glad to answer all of them. How do we submit pictures? How do we submit pictures for training? If we have something that doesn't work, how uh, do we send them? Uh, we, we, not for me, but we will. <laughs> I'm not sure will I be able to handle, but we have a special email I, I, I'll share with the community later on so they can send the samples and uh, some people, some trained people will be able to handle them. Uh, to be honest, uh, yeah, I trained on the JPEGs, and uh, not always on a high resolution. That's okay for 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 AI to, because AI needs just to see whole image, and understand where is the sky, where is the person, where is the problems, how kind of different kind of illumination. Because uh, in cases like if it doesn't work, it means we don't have enough images on the same situation. Like, like you know, like. Uh, crazy illumination like in disco bar with the with the crazy lights it's unusual scene and then yeah i can be confused you know but the same thing like uh, with everyone if nobody went to the disco bars they will be confused with the thing that happened there so it's like uh, so <laughs> so it's all training took us a lot of resources but again in the end of the day you can be confident that all processing will happen on your machine and it's very secure and uh, we, will, we will work very hard to improve performance and make it as fast as possible on latest hardware and uh, make, uh, you know, like your wildest dreams true. So Luminar is a plugin that we put it into my uh, uh, Lightroom. Or do I have treated separately, import and export? Uh, to be honest, uh, yeah, yeah, great. So Luminar right now is, is like uh, very flexible. It works as a plugin for Lightroom Photoshop. It works as a standalone as a library. And uh, actually you can use it to improve your workflow, make it faster at the moment. Our goal is to make it essential tool for everyone who actually in edit photos. So this way we can save a lot of time and uh, I hope people can create some amazing creations with this. And we just get started, actually. We, we just on the bottom, we will go like this with new features. We will introduce much more unique tools. And I hope uh, people will like it because uh, what we are doing right now, I nobody telling about this, but it's just crazy. Just the very beginning. And we will not le left it as it is, actually. We know that uh, we, we can improve it even, even further and we change something that like you say shadows or something like this. Very, very, very crazy things actually in work. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs>